Hello everybody, hope you're all well wherever you are in the world today. For those who don't know me, my name is Nadia Bajrami. I am a strategic hypnotherapist, a mind coach, as well as a psychic medium based in Dublin, Ireland. So today, this video to talk about the importance of loving yourself, the importance of self-love. Now I know what you will say is, yes, we've heard this before Nadia, everybody talks about self-love, everybody talks about the importance of valuing and loving oneself. But this video is just to reiterate, repeat the importance of loving yourself. Why? Because actually, unless you start genuinely loving yourself, everything else, you know, will take time and might be harder because this is just the basis. Loving yourself is the foundation of your life. If you're not in love with yourself, how can you actually be in love with anyone else or anything else? You know, as a matter of fact, I understand as well that, you know, we haven't been brought up as, as would say, human being to, to love oneself because we've been told that, you know, we need to be kind to people. We need to help people. We need to respect other people. We need to, to always help other people. But this is very important, of course. But unless we start doing all this for ourselves as well, you know, with time, we might be worn out or we might not be as efficient with other people. Because I always say, and I love this, and I just love repeating the saying is, we can't pour from an empty cup. So unless you start looking after yourself and valuing yourself, you know, you won't have enough to help everybody else. So you aren't perfect as a human being. So what? And you have flows. So what? I have flows. I'm not perfect. And remember, realize that 7 billion people other human beings on earth have, you know, fit the same descriptions of flows and aren't perfect. Now, you must find a way to love yourself. It's actually a personal duty. You owe it to yourself. And you must find a way to love yourself with everything that comes with yourself. Your mistakes, your regrets, your weaknesses and all. You are valuable and important. And to be happy, you must discover a path that leads you to self-love. You don't need to be perfect to love yourself. Remember this as well. You know, we, I think we, all of us, me included, we, we expect a lot from ourselves and we always think that we need to achieve more, do more in, in order, I wouldn't even say to love ourselves, but just to respect ourselves enough to keep going. But perfection is not necessary to love yourself and to achieve success. Although again, most of us expect it from ourselves. Self-love, what is it? Self-love is a state of appreciation for oneself that grows from actions that support our physical, psychological and spiritual growth. And self-love is dynamic. You grow to love yourself by behaving in positive ways that help you physically, psychologically and spiritually. You can't let, remember this, you can't let failure or, or imperfection keep you from growing love for yourself. Again, this is a personal duty and it's dynamic. So with positive behaviors, you'll grow to love yourself even more. But you have to master that skill through practice, loving yourself without exceptions or qualifications. And you know, I want to say something. Remember that you can develop some superpowers. Yes, superpowers when you start truly, genuinely loving yourself. And, and yes, superpowers develop as you love yourself. When you learn to love yourself, life will improve dramatically. Believe me. Oh, you won't be perfect or flawless. Forget about this. You know, this, this is against human nature. But you will acquire superpowers that will make your weaknesses seem trivial. Self-love empowers you with the mental toughness to accomplish your dreams and conquer any obstacles. And as you begin to love yourself, your, your life falls into place. You will realize that things are just falling into place. And you design your life around events that make you healthy and happy. Now, when you start loving yourself as well, you will realize that you will take care of yourself more. You know, you will satisfy your physical, psychological and spiritual needs, as we said. You will take better care of yourself, finding health and peace. And this increases your capacity to succeed in your environment at home, at work. Your needs are met, so you are able also to work efficiently. Your personal needs, your basic needs are met, are met 
so you are able to work efficiently. As you work and give to others, you develop respect for yourself as a valuable individual within your community. You see the interconnected relationships that you have with other people. Both independent and cultural respect are important to progress. You see yourself as a great person who has a lot to offer to people around you, not to your community and all the people you value. These changes push you towards the growth and maturity that are necessary to be a healthy, functional, living being. So think about all you have gained, all the superpower of the interconnection with people. Because you have a healthy relationship with yourself, you will start interacting with people, with people sorry, in a different way. And people will just feel the energy as well. You will be more, you become more mature, more efficient at work in your personal life because obviously you've done a lot of work on yourself but not only this because you've actually started at the beginning which is okay i acknowledge myself i am who i am with everything that happened to me my past my present but i actually love the person i am this is the basis just acknowledging this you will see tremendous change in your life and as we said you know you become more mature as well because you understand a lot more when you start loving yourself and with maturity comes skills, competence, which means that you increase your capacity to accomplish more difficult tasks as well. Your respect, maturity and love increase your potential to perform beyond what you thought possible. Very important. You're able to do more and perform better than in the past. The tasks are not easier, not at all, but your ability to perform is completely empowered and different. As you prove to yourself that you can act competently in the world, with new skills, with new competences, you acquire self-confidence and the knowledge that you can handle whatever obstacle you might, you know, face in your life. Confidence enables you to encounter greater independence and the power to act. So you see all the positive effects of starting loving yourself. Competence and self-confidence make security for you and your loved ones possible, a necessity for a happy human life. So you feel secure as a human being and you know that you can provide for the people you love as well. You have moved now with self-love to an advanced level of human developments, where you can feel empathy also for other human beings. And again, when you start feeling this empathy and love other beings more even more than before because you have so much for yourself you've started to love yourself you'll see that your love for people increase as well and for people who are looking for a relationship as well you know this is the key you need to start with yourself before you can even think that someone else will bring something to your life because when you are looking for someone a romantic partner let's say they will feel also the vibes coming from you so if you come with your own self-love you meet a person that actually will meet your own needs as well. And you meet halfway with each one of you, you know, love for oneself. So again, the importance of self-love. First of all, it's a basic, it's a basic human need. You owe it to yourself. And when you start loving yourself, tremendous positive changes happen in your life. Increase, you increase your confidence. You meet new people. People feel something different coming from you. You don't even realize you're changing, but things around you change because you've started loving yourself. Hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, you take care, you stay safe, and we talk very soon. Bye-bye.